Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to a new post for the market cap technical analysis. What I have here is the chart just like I left it in my previous video. I uh, review the market cap uh, once a week so this chart is from exactly seven days ago today and what I have on the bottom is the chart for the market cap uh, from 2013 to beginning of 2014 and the total length is three months so you can see the dates on the bottom here the 18th of November of 2013 and finishing the 13th of January uh, 2014. This peak that we see here was the very last peak and after this we enter a very long bear market probably more than a year I think it was one year one year and a half until we actually touched bottom and what I have at the top is the the market cap uh, from now from 2017 you have the dates at the top so this was the 8th of May and finishing here the 3rd of July and where at the very end where this is finishing this is how it was finishing seven days ago just like I left it last week when I was reviewing the market cap let's see what happened during these seven days because these are the trend lines that I draw in my last video and as you can see I pointed with the arrows every high and every low how they actually correlate with the highs and lows from the 2013 charts every peak and every low actually match uh, which shows that the patterns are repeating this year okay so let's see the extended chart from now in 2017 this is what happened during these seven days if you see the difference i hide it and now I put it on, turn it off, put it on. So this is how it was last week. Now this is what happened, the continuation during this during these seven days. Obviously, it didn't follow my my uh, my trend uh, channel here. We went uh, way down, so that's fine. It's okay. Now let me let's take it from here. Let me hide some of these lines so that we can see it more clear. Okay, what about this? Uh, what about this arrow that I had pointing from this low to this low? What about this is not the actual low, but is that low was actually this low? Okay. And this smaller low here was actually this low that I was pointing at last week. So last week when I did this analysis, the crash didn't finish yet because actually I, um, I missed it I didn't realize that this big crash that I was actually pointing to this small one but this big crash if we see <clears throat> sorry where it the low that it goes is to this first low here this first crash here it's actually at the same level with this big one which would be the same level with this one to make the charts even even more similar okay i hope this is uh this is clear what i'm trying to say here it touched support and it jumped just like it did here in 2013 okay so if we take it from here and uh and we can still see that the patterns are matching uh with the 2013 chart it means these patterns have haven't been broken yet in theory we should have something like this in the future right these are my new arrows from this week so if we are here we just had this low here we we're supposed to be recovering actually if we do it exactly like in 2013 it should be going up to this peak here uh, something like that actually it should uh, this chart this this um, uh, the price that is going up now should go up until here to make a double top with this one here if it if it's gonna be the same as in 2013 and then from there crash again and then from this crash would it would be this crash then it would slowly start to recover right that's what it should happen if the pattern is not broken uh, I'm not sure if you guys would agree with this. I hope I can see something in the comments and see what you guys think about this. 
to me the pattern seems it's not seems it's not broken now but I think I have been realizing after doing technical analysis for Bitcoin and Ethereum so often I think this could this could still repeat we can go back up here to make a double double with this one maybe we have another crash I think up until here the patterns will continue to repeat why not but the fact that this one is recovering here you know this should actually go up to 100 billion again maybe if it repeats and then from there in 2013 we had a very long bear market very long the reason why we had a very long bear market is because i'll show you here when bubbles form this is the the actual bitcoin chart uh, as of today when i'm making this video so say this is a bubble the bubble started somewhere here actually down here but say say that the bubble started here we naturally need to crash all the way down to then have a healthy consolidation period and then we can start growing again that's how bubbles react but we actually got that in the bubble in 2000 in the beginning of 2013 we actually saw something like that what happened in the bubble at the end of 2013 it's because it didn't go all the way down just yet okay there was so many people buying the dips there was so many people holding and believing in the assets so much that we actually prolonged that crash through one year and a half of bear market so we actually recover from that the bubble didn't finish popping we started to recover up here and then from there it took a year and a half going down until eventually we actually touched bottom down to 200 dollars if you were around back then you will know that it took a year and a half to actually complete the the bubble burst and actually touch bottom at 200 dollars which is the price where the bubble started in the middle of 2013 but i think that is not common to happen i think it's more common for bubbles to form and burst fast i think it's not so common to have such a long bear market to in the end have the same result which it was go down to the level where the, where the bubble started of course i don't know what's going to happen in the future if bitcoin and ethereum and the main ones in general they continue to crash slow why not we could have a very long bear market uh, until they are actually at the bottom where, where they should be uh, so that they can start growing again in a healthy way in a natural way you know but if they crash fast then it means that the market cap it's not going to continue to repeat from here if they indeed crash fast down to where they started we should actually see something like some volatility of course jumps up and down but we should we should not see this recovery now instead we should uh, have a bear market down to where the um, to where the bubble started at around i think it was like 30 billion i could be wrong now but something like that 20 20 billion maybe go down to there to 20 billion and there consolidate for some time then we can start growing again i'm not sure if this is very clear when I, what i'm explaining but uh please guys leave comments um in the comment section so so that i know and so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna leave my prediction as I said, these arrows would be if this pattern continues to repeat, but I think there's a bigger chance of this pattern to break here. Okay, and from there, of course, have volatility, but the general trend should be going down instead of up so that we can finish and complete the bubble burst faster than in 2013. And I hope that's what happened. If not, we're gonna see a bear market very long so i will actually uh put this something like this okay this is gonna be my take of course i don't know exactly what's gonna happen if the pattern repeats from 2013-14 we'll go up if it breaks here which is what i think it's gonna happen we will see a jump now up to make a double top here with this one so 
that would be around what 60 sorry not 60 um around 80 85 billion and then from there bear market okay i will type here up to 80 billion then bear market down to at least 30 billion which i think is going to be less than like 25 so this is going to be my prediction my take of course who knows but i will put it here guys i'm gonna leave it here and let's see what happens uh, i'll see you again in seven days and uh, yeah i will continue to update this chart thank you very much much for watching and i'll see you in the next video